Welcome back to the channel everyone. In this video, we got some big changes going on with Spider. I'm going to show you how to farm those ghost fragments and why they became Save important. And all that great shit. Now, the first big change is that the Spider Bounties actually drop some Mass Work Cores. Or the new version of the Mass Work Core, the Enhancement Core. And now you can get six of these enhancement cores just from getting the ghost fragments, picking up his bounties, and doing the wanted bounty. Now the next big change to do with Spider and his bounties or the amount of ghost fragments you can carry. Before this used to be 10 only, and now you can have a max of 20, making it a little bit easier and the last change to do with Spider and his wanted bounties would be the actual lost sectors. Being able to hover over these lost sectors and seeing the name of them. So now more YouTube searches so for questions. finding out where the lost Coming sector is that you need. Just go to the destination, hover over them, and find the one you want. Now, the rework cores aren't the only reason for doing these. There is some triumph if you're going to get the wafer seal. Now, there is all these wanted bounties that you need to get in order to complete these triumphs. If you're anything like me, and most of the people that play Destiny, you have to have everything a game has to offer, which means completing all this triumph and getting everything you can. How do you like my shot? Now before we get into the whole farming of the ghost fragments and all that good stuff, guys, I am new to the whole YouTube channel thing. So if you can give me a hand, go ahead and hit that like button, go ahead and share this video comment down below and newcomers go ahead and subscribe if i can get this channel up to a thousand subscribers i'm going to start doing some giveaways uh, if you guys have any ideas on what i could use to give in these giveaways go ahead and comment it down below let me know i'm thinking maybe the new call of duty game some destiny games maybe some battlefield games you know comment down below let me know Alright, now let's get into it guys. The way that I farm the Ghost Fragments would be public events and patrol bounties. Also the regular spider bounties that you can grab from him. Now the public events will drop you one Ghost Fragment if it is just a normal public event. And then if you can turn the public event heroic, you will get two Ghost Fragments from it. Now, the way I do this as soon as I spawn in, I go to where the public event is going to be happening, and the first thing I do is grab a patrol bounty. Now, you can do the patrol bounty as you kind of wait for the public event to spawn in and start, or if it's already started, I'd still go grab that patrol bounty first. And as I said, guys, you do get two ghost fragments if you turn these public events heroic and Cryopod is actually probably the easiest one there is to turn on heroic. It's gonna shoot those little steamer pods on the side, grab the orb, and hit the mini boss with that orb. Now these little portals here that I'm looking at, the little little pod things, whatever you want to call them, that is what you need to shoot when they start steaming, and it'll release the orb for you to pick up, and then you just throw it at the boss. As you can see, this kid just picked one up here. Now another big thing to mention is the patrol bounties that you pick up. There are certain ones you want to grab and other ones you don't. The two main ones that you want to grab are the scavenge and the clear the area. Because the scavenge ones you can farm as you're doing the public event and then the ones you clear the area and just killing the enemies during the public event will fill that up too. Now if you have a scavenger bounty and you're not getting the drops you need during the public event you don't have to stay there you can actually go off and kill the enemies that you need in order to get those drops now as long as you don't leave the actual area the public event is in when the public event completes you will still get 
the ghosts from it in the chest and everything else. Now with this being said, if you're the only one doing a public event, you still want to stay there and kind of finish it out. But like I have here, there's other people doing it, so I just kind of let them do it. And I, I ran off so I could complete my patrol bounty. You know, the faster you get this stuff done, the faster you get your ghost fragments, and the quicker that you can get to your spider bounties. And another thing to mention would be these mini bosses, the yellow bars that spawn in every now and then. The I say high value target. Uh, they do drop a chest and have a possibility you can get a ghost fragment out of it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's just a toss up whether you will or not. Now I'd say 90% of the time when I'm doing these public events, there will be a high value target spawn in somewhere. If you see it in the bottom left hand corner, you can go ahead and go after them. You know, leave the other blueberries there to uh, finish the public event for you. You know, if you can't find them, it's no big deal. I said it's just a toss up whether or not you're going to get a ghost fragment out of it anyway. And once the public event is done, say if you killed your high value target, you want to finish your patrol bounty that you have if you still have one and then as soon as that's done you want to go into your destination map and then look for the next public event spawning in and then just head over there and you know kind of repeat grab your patrol bounties and do the public event again guys thanks for watching i appreciate it go ahead and hit that like button if this video helped you out and go ahead and subscribe if you're a newcomer to the channel